We talked about how you can get a student discount with Amazon Prime. But did you know that Amazon Prime um, or um, yeah, Amazon Prime, they got a chat bot. Uh, a new chat bot just was released the other day. And basically they're saying that the chat bot is designed to simplify everything that you do. So instead of you having to read all of the information, you can ask the chat bot certain questions. What do I mean by that? Rufus is his name. All right, they got a chat bot named Rufus. <laughs> and we're Too close to Rufus. Rufus and Rufus. Oh, Lord. Uh, they didn't use your image and your likeness, brother. They, they just. <laughs> and they're saying it's live. And, but it's still in beta, so it's in the beginning stages, all right? But you can ask Rufus. So instead of asking ChatGPT, you can ask Rufus. And they say uh, they, it's the new chat bot in town. And they say, so what does it do? Uh, it's an Amazon chat bot, so it helps with shopping. You can ask for a list of recommended products and ask what specific products do and stuff like that. And they said that uh, through a, uh, they say it's kind of boring because it just gives you the text images and stuff like that. Um, but let me bring this article down for you. Um, there you go. You can read the fine print. Um, but they say that uh, in spite of a, of a random list of well-reviewed products on several occasions, um, they said that uh, mm -hmm. you can also ask specific questions about products, but the answers seem to be pulled directly from the descriptions. As any regular Amazon customer knows, some of these descriptions are accurate and others aren't. Now, they're saying the chatbot is tied to your personal account, so it can answer questions about your upcoming deliveries and other things such as that. And Amazon says that the bot has been trained on its own product catalog, along with customer reviews, community Q and A's and public information found throughout the web. Now they did not disclose what websites it pulled that public information from. Um, but they said it didn't even confirm that they were real retail adjacent websites. So if you want to try it out, update to the latest version of Amazon Prime and uh, you'll see a colorful icon on the bottom right. So because Amazon Prime Day just happened or is still in, you know, still going on, um, why not use Rufus? <laughs> so um, the question is, is it on the app on your phone or is it on the PC as well? Um, I don't see it on the PC. So apparently it's working, it's only available on your phone. So if you go to your phone and you open up Amazon Prime, on the bottom right, you should see the chat bot and you can ask it questions. Um, but what are your thoughts on this? Can you see yourself using Amazon uh, Rufus? <laughs> like this is real. Like you can now have a chat bot. So if you say, well, uh, what size, what's the best size for me? Maybe it might come give you some information. Maybe you might say, uh, what are the most, why, why do people return the product? It may give you a response for that. Um, it might also say, um, what customers think the best of it because it's pulling the Q and A and the review. So they're telling you the reasons why customers like the product. So since it trained the chat bot on that model, why, you know, it should make sense for you to be able to ask those type of questions. Um, Sheila Baker says, just pulled it up. I need to look into the Washington Post this <laughs> uh, Just pulled it up, says Sheila Baker. Let me know wh uh, what you think about it. Uh, uh, you're, you're doing it in real time. This show is live. So speaking of that, uh, what do you think of Rufus, Rufus? Uh Rufus might be useful, might really be useful because, you know, one of my things is I cook. Mm. And so if I could ask Rufus about special ingredients that go in certain things, I might be able to enhance my uh, recipes. Well, I don't know if it's going to give you recipes. I think it might tell you why you should buy this utensil or maybe if you look into the food section, it might do it. I, it might be. I, I, it might. It might be it. Uh, Sheila Baker says this is so wild. Like, and it's been out for about a week now. So uh, it's still in beta. So it's not perfect, right? So I'm just giving you a heads up. It's not perfect. But I mean, over a course of time, you got to remember, a Chat GPT came out, or it was widely announced in 2022, right? So 
hey, Amazon is just now rolling this out. Now, my question that I have to the audience that's watching, I do you think that this is the perfect time for Rufus to be released, or do you think Rufus should have been released when ChatGPT came out? I mean, you have all this money. There's no reason for you not to be innovative, right? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, um, but yeah, Rufus is here. If you open up your Amazon Prime app, um, I think that you'll find some great deals. And uh, you can ask Rufus, the AI ch chatbot, you can ask the chatbot uh, whatever questions you have, and that way it may save you some time on reading. All right. Uh, that's about as fair as it gets. That's Amazon. That's Amazon getting off into what they usually get into. Well, I mean, they, 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 what is that? You know, they let other people come out with something, and then they create their own so they can get people interested in theirs so they can forget about the other one. Mm, I'm pulling the page out of Apple, I'm pulling the page out of Apple's book. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's the Lab Tech Show. Join us Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern at thelabtechshow.com. Embrace it or get left behind. All righty then.